long will they last? I spoke to a government expert who studies this. You'll get lots of aftershocks, uh, and they can continue for uh, months to years, depending on how big the earthquake was. Um, and so, you know, we've we've uh, seen a lot of aftershocks, and so they're like on the order of 100 instruments in the area, uh, continuing to measure the aftershocks, uh, and then we're going to use that data to locate earthquakes and to better image the fault and some of the other structures in the area and, and learn more about, you know, where the earthquake occurred and, you know, how likely future earthquakes might be. Look at that, we got more to come. So I said, why did we get this earthquake? He said a couple reasons. One of them is this, sea soling going on in the East Coast. New England's actually rising up and we're falling down at New England's expense. That kind of up and down, that sea salt, that's part of the reason why we had the potential for that earthquake. Secondly, this is Iceland and Europe is literally going that way and North America is coming that way. That adds some pressure to cause some earthquakes. So that's part of the reason why we had an earthquake in this area. And the reason we had a crack in the rocks here, it's from when mountains form.